A high-pass RL filter is a filter composed of a resistor and inductor which passes through high-frequency signals. To build a high-pass RL filter, the inductor is placed in parallel to the power source signals entering the circuit, as shown in this diagram. This circuit is an RL high-pass filter which passes through high-frequency signals. An inductor, like a capacitor, is a reactive device, right? Inductors offer different resistances to signals input into them of different frequencies. Inductors pass low frequency signals with very little resistance, while offering great resistance to signals of high frequency. As a result, low frequency signals pass through very easily without any attenuation, and high frequency signals are either completely blocked or greatly attenuated as output. Off of this principle described, which is inductive reactance, is how this circuit operates. Remember that current in a circuit always takes the path of least resistance. Since inductors offer such a high resistance to high frequency signals, current signals of high frequency will not go through the inductor of this circuit. They will take an alternative path and go through another part of the circuit which offers lesser resistance. In this circuit, instead of the high frequency signals going through the inductor and down to ground, they go through to output. And this is why this circuit is a high pass filter circuit. Low frequency signals, however, will go through the inductor because inductors offer very low resistance to low frequency or DC signals, right? Therefore, the low frequency current will take the path of going through the inductor to ground. And now, let's see how to build a high pass RL filter. To build a high pass RL filter again, just like the RC circuit, we use a function generator, a resistor, and an inductor. For this circuit, we will use a 470 mH inductor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. This circuit will form a high pass filter passing through high frequency signals through to output while filtering low frequency signals through the inductor. Since the formula for a high pass RL filter is this one here, doing the math, we will get a cutoff frequency of approximately 3.39 kHz. This means all frequencies above 3.39 kHz will be passed through without attenuation, while frequencies below this value will begin to get attenuated. As you get lower and lower and further away from 3.39 kHz, there is a greater attenuation as the frequency goes down. Now, let's try to simulate this high-pass RL filter and see the output signal in comparison with the input signal. The cutoff frequency based on the value of the resistor and the inductor is 454 Hz. So this means that everything below this frequency will be attenuated and everything above this frequency will be passed. This function generator here will change its frequency starting from 21 Hz all the way up to 1 kHz. The simulation has started and as you can see, low frequency input signal below 454 Hz is attenuated. How do we know it's attenuated? Well, the input voltage is a constant 5V and the output voltage is less than 5V. As a result, the output voltage is attenuated by a certain amount. As the frequency increases, the output signal's voltage is increasing as well. Now that we cross the frequency of 454 Hz, Notice how the output signal starts increasing in voltage until it reaches nearly 5 volts. 